This deck, like a hot rod, like a chopper, it's a foundation for a passionate hobbyist to make something special. Ask the question, is it the best? Is really to risk missing the true value, and that is experiencing something unique. What do I mean? Let's explore that a little bit, shall we? First, let's be very real for a second. Decks are one of those things that are essential in today's world. We find them everywhere, in our phones, even in our fridges now. If we hear a sound, a voice, coming out of a speaker, you can bet there's probably a deck somewhere in the gears behind the scenes. But yet, most of the world couldn't care less. Most people don't even know that DAX exists. Everyone seems to think that when you hear sound that it's all about speakers. So let me ask you, does your brother care about DAX? Your family care about DAX? Do your colleagues care? Probably not. But you and I, we know that DAX can completely change how we connect to experiences and emotions through sound and music. And there is always a better one if you look in the right places or if you just have a lot of money. I'll never know what the best is. I don't have the time to try all the possible combinations and all room variations for all music types. And I just don't have the money. So this DAC, one that easily allows me to play with the sonic result by changing various components that normally is, well, let's say, not so quick to do so. Ever notice how many hi-fi channels give best of awards? Or there's always a new one to beat? Or their systems are the best they ever heard? How much of this is due to technology, just finding better components, better synergy? Or maybe I should say contextual synergy? Or more interestingly, did their audio tastes just change over time? Using the word best, in my opinion, should be used within a certain context. So I can think, I want the best. Or I can think, I want to make the best out of my situation. Two very, very different ways to use best. That's why I chose to purchase an MPD2 MK3 Deluxe deck from Musical Paradise. I wanted the best for my current situation. My current situation, I want to learn. I want to play with capacitors. I want to play with tubes. I want to play with rectifiers. I want to change the gain. I want to play with different voltages. And that's where my fun comes in right now. Now, how does it sound? When I first got it, I thought it sounded pretty good. It sounded bigger and more Tones were denser than the other Sabre DAX in the same price range that I tried. Remember the Appetizer DAX? Yeah, at this point it was similar to an Appetizer DAX, but it had a little bit some had a little bit more to give than an Appetizer DAX. One could say even stock, I almost I consider this more of a main course DAX. On some respects, it did things better than the Aris 2. On other things, it did things less than the Aris 2. But I digress, it's a question of taste. So after two weeks, I put in the V-caps in positions one and three. And this increased the contrast in the imaging. It felt like there was more string, the more st textures in the strings, more smoothness in the mids. Um, and things seemed to be layered a little bit more uh, in the sound stage. So in short, if you are going to buy this kind of deck, uh, is the extra $250 worth it to add the V-caps in? I vote yes. And then what I did was is I decided to change the stock Russian tubes that were in there. So, And I wanted to change tube types. I wanted to listen to 12BH7 tubes. Uh, I wanted to hear uh, what kind of um, sonic characteristics they brought compared to like 12AX type or 6922 type tubes. So I tried Cryotone 12BH7s. This kind of, kind of made of a difference. It, um, first thing I noticed was that it wasn't as sparkly. But do I think this made a huge difference? Meh. I'm not saying tube rolling won't make a difference with the stack. 
Of course they will. I'm just saying that these two didn't make that much of a difference. Then I changed the 5R4 rectif GE rectifier to a smaller 6X5 rectifier that I had, and everything diminished. The stage got smaller, lost some bass, I lost air, it wasn't as musical anymore, it wasn't as engaging as it was before. Now it kind of sounded like the other appetizer decks. Things felt a lot flatter, the image didn't have a sense of presence. And there's a little bit of, and you could hear the the ESS Sabre chip in there. There was a hint of digital glare. Anyway. Leanest to say, <clears throat> I popped in my new old stock 5U4G rectifier as quickly as I could after hearing that. Oh, and everything came back with extra cherries. I had the big stage. It was deep. I had the presence of the instruments and the singer was back. I had the air. I had a, I had a good sense of realism and the engagement factor was back. I was foot tapping. I was enjoying the music and I felt like the soundstage was enveloping me. So now I have them with the Jupiter copper foil caps, the big and expensive ones. And now a whole veil in front of the presentation of digital glare was removed. I didn't even realize that that was there before I put in these caps. That's right. Sometimes you go down a rabbit hole and you can't unsee what you see, <laughs> for better or worse. Now with the Jupiter caps, the, the, the spaces between the instruments feels darker. Um, it added and augmented everything the same way the V caps did, but more of it. And I'm about to go crazy here, but in some recordings, depending also on what amp I use, I can feel the presence of the person sitting behind the microphone either with an instrument or, the, or or about to sing before they start playing their instrument. It's like you when know, you close your eyes and someone walks in the room, they don't say anything, they just have to stand there. You can kind of feel someone's presence. I'm not talking you hear them breathing. That's not what I'm talking about. If I can, one day I'll try to see if I can either find the right words to describe it. Anyways, with the right amps on some recordings, mainly live recordings specifically, I could tell that the singer's presence is there. Even if he hasn't started singing, it's it's cool. Very cool. I might be losing my mind, but anyways. And right now, for me, my jaw drops now when I go down and listen to my system. I look forward to listening to my system. And that, to me, is a sign that it works. So I'm going to cut it short for now because there's, there's a lot more coming uh, just along with this DAC. So the next test that will be coming up is I am going to change these 12BH7 tubes and put in some high quality 6SN7 tubes. That's right. Should completely change the tone of this back. And I have a, an external super rectifier from Space Tech Lab on, on order that will replace my 5U4G rectifier tube for this external one. That is going to first be using an 805 tube, but I will be able to roll in either a 211 or an 845. And it has a selectable choke so that I get to play with the decay of the notes I hear, which I am very excited about. Guys, stay tuned.